Uh, hello guys and uh, welcome to another video. In this video I'm going to show you how to add the pie chart uh, into your uh, Android application. So uh, we are going to use uh, an existing uh, library called uh, AnyChart. So uh, I'll post uh, the GitHub link down in the description. So there are plenty of uh, different uh, styles of charts. But uh, in this video, we're going to create uh, the first one, which is a pie chart. And uh, it should look something like that. And in the next videos, I will show you the, uh, the different styles of charts as well. So as you can see down below, we have a little text view here saying uh, we are using trial version. So uh, uh, if you want to, the, to delete that, then uh, you'll have to purchase uh, the premium version. Um, but uh, that's on you, it's not, uh, it's uh, optional. So the first thing we need to do, uh, we need to add the uh, Maven repository here in our Gradle build files. So open up those two uh, build files and uh, add the Maven repository here, just below uh, Google and Jade Central. Uh, sync now, and uh, now let's add the implementation for this uh, library. Okay, so now down below just paste the, the, this code and click sync now. Uh, next we're going to get an error saying that uh, the minimum API level is 19. 19. So uh, we need to change uh, our minimum uh, SDK version from 16 to 19. And sync now and uh, the error will disappear. Alright, so uh, next uh, we need to add uh, support for uh, multidex uh, because uh, you'll get an error if you don't do that so let's add this implementation and let's uh, set uh, multidex to true so you, we're going to paste this code uh, down here okay sync now and uh, we are done so now we can uh, close all those uh, gradle files and uh, proceed with the, the code Alright, uh, so let's close that and uh, in our uh, XML file uh, or our layout file we're going to add this uh, line of code for our uh, pie chart and now uh, we're going to uh, change this uh, width and height to 200 dp so we can see uh, this box on the screen like that. And uh, we have also a text view here, here above, uh, so we're going to move this text view um, okay, on the top. And uh, we're going to connect the constraints for our uh, pie chart here. So connect uh, all those constraints. The top constraint will be connected to, the, to our uh, text view here above. And set the top constraint to 20 dp like, like that and uh, width and height should be a uh, match constraint or uh, 0 dp. Okay, so uh, we need to uh, to change those constraint values uh, to 0. Uh, uh, left, right and bottom constraint should be 0 and top should be 20. Like that. Okay. So now uh, let's change uh, text for our uh, text view here. Uh, we'll call it earnings because uh, our uh, pie chart will uh, show earnings, earnings uh, for different months, you'll see now. And um, okay, we have added that, now let's proceed uh, to our main activity. So first uh, we are going to add uh, any chart, uh, any chart view here. So we are going to connect the, that view chart to our uh, view inside our XML file and we are going to find the ID in uh, onCreate method here. So just write that down. And after that we are going to create a new method uh, for setting up our uh, pie chart. So uh, let's call our uh, method uh, setup uh, pie chart. As simple as that. So this will be uh, a void method, public void method. Uh, this method uh, will not return any value. Okay, and now 
we can start uh, uh, coding in our uh, in our method. So let's add that method in our uh, on create method first, so we don't forget that. Okay, and now let's start by uh, by adding a uh, pi. So just press Alt and Enter to add this uh, uh, import. And uh, now we're going to use any chart dot pi to uh, initialize our pi chart. Okay. And uh, now we're going to create a for loop. But uh, before we do that, uh, let's add uh, uh, let's add uh, string uh, arrays. So this will be kind of uh, kind of uh, array of strings. And uh, down below we're going to create uh, uh, the same, but for integer. So uh, we're going to create just three values here. Uh, those three values uh, will say uh, January, February, and March. A short, uh, short word like that. And next one, I will do the same for integer, integers. But this time, uh, those will be earnings. So let's say the first value should be around uh, fifth, uh, 500. Uh, let's say those those will be dollars or any any currency you want. Uh, the second will be 800 and um, 2000, uh, the third one. So now in our setup pie chart method, we're going to add a for loop. So uh, integer i equals to zero, integer i less than if it's less than uh, of our length of our months, which is three. Then we're going to increase the i. I hope you all understand already uh, for loop because uh, it's all basics. Uh, so now uh, below pi we're going to uh, add the list uh, which will uh, say list of data entry we're going to name that data entry uh, equals to new array list all right so now we're going to use that list to add uh, those uh, items months and earnings so uh, use method add and uh, inside that brackets we're going to say uh, new uh, value data uh, data entry and inside this, uh, this uh, we're going to pass two parameters months and uh, we're going to say i in the brackets so it will run through the loop and uh, earnings i as well okay so this uh, loop will run through uh, our months and earnings and it will uh, display those values in uh, our pie chart so now let's uh, use the pi data method to pass these uh, data entries. Okay. And uh, down below, let's say uh, any chart view dot. Uh, we're going to use the method uh, set chart. And let's pass a parameter which is pi. Okay. And I think we can uh, run our application now to see uh, how it looks like. Okay, just a second until it shows up. All right, and this is how our application should look like. We have an earnings text view on the on the top of the application, and when we click this uh, one piece of our uh, pie chart, uh, we will get that animation, and we'll get uh, some information here in this uh, little black box. So down below we have a uh, down below we have a uh, January, February, March here. And when we click those, we can uh, also animate our pie chart like that. And down below, as you can see, we have this little, uh, almost uh, non-visible text view for credits. But as I said, uh, those credits uh, can be uh, deleted only with a premium uh, membership. You can check it out uh, on the GitHub link uh, as well. So we can uh, set a title uh, to earnings as well. But uh, this title will be a little... Uh, smaller also uh, this pie chart has uh, tons of different methods uh, which you can use but uh, for the purpose of, of this tutorial i won't be showing you uh, any of those you can experiment by yourself so uh, thank you for watching guys i hope you enjoyed this video please like and uh, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and uh, see you in the next video